Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel and to another Etsy sticker haul or just kind of planner haul in general. Um, so I have a lot of things here. I have a bunch from Simply Gilded, oop, as I like threw it. I have Fox and Cactus, Glam Planner. I think the majority of this honestly is probably Scrubble Prince Co. for stickers wise. Um, I actually have a couple Caress Press, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, we're just going to get started with the Simply Gilded stuff because like obviously this is a hair. Don't mind the hair. Um, Simply Gilded is going to rule this this um haul if I'm gonna be honest so the first thing that I have is um a little thing from wonton in a million and I will put my phone or my camera on manual focus in a second um but I have a thing from wonton in a million which um she did a collab with simply gilded and I did get the washi and then she did also send this which I think comes with all of her orders which is kind of like an explanation of all of the wonton in a million like um characters and stuff like that. I actually do not have any um character stickers from her and I've never really been like entirely interested but they're kind of cute like they're they're a little cute so <laughs> we'll see maybe um but yeah so I did get one washi from her um so what I'm gonna do I'm actually going to go ahead and just focus this right now and just leave this on um, manual focus. Hopefully it won't be like too annoying. So this is what the washi looks like. This is uh, the wonton in a million and simply gilded um, collab. It's like a pink that fades into a white which is really really pretty and then it has a silver bow on it. I am kind of obsessed with it. It's really pretty um, and I don't know exactly when I'm going to use this but I'm excited to use it. And then I have a couple orders from Simply Gilded. So um, I have a one order and then I have my um, pre-sale order, which so many washies. It's kind of ridiculous. I know it looks like a blurred mess to you, but like this is ridiculous. This is a lot of washi. Um, but anyway, so first thing that I have um, from both orders is um, some little bow stickers right here, if you can see them, which are really really cute there's a blue one and then a gray one um and then i do have a couple of journaling cards which i will put you back into focus for um so you have a happy mail one and then this one which says warm and cozy and it has uh the little ju juniper bunny on it so super cute and excited for that all right look at all the washi this is all of my pre-sale washi and then another orders washi which is kind of insane so i'm gonna kind of organize these um in a way because I know that the where did the other one go oh these ones okay so these are a completely separate order this was an order that I had before the uh, pre-sale and then I have the rest that's the pre-sale so I'm gonna kind of make a little um, bit of a sense of this and I will be right back to you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the order that I had that was separate from the pre-sale order so um, I have I believe this is the Robin egg, Robin's egg blue which is like a really pretty Tiffany blue that has a silver foil on it and I have it in the 15 millimeter and the 10 millimeter I actually really like this I think it's coming off a little bit more blue on camera but it's like a really 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 pretty like kind of minty blue color and I really like it and then the other one that I got is the like kind of Christmas plaid one I don't know uh what it's called off the top of my head but this is what it looks like it has some gold foiling and I'm actually really excited to use this one as well because it's just it's gorgeous so that was my first order and then moving on to the pre-sale order um I actually have to grab my invoice because I don't even know half of the names of these so um I actually did not order all of the washi from the pre-sale because I unfortunately just couldn't afford it all um so I only got so many in the ones that I thought I would use so um the first two which are the ones that I've opened and if you saw my update video um that I did right before or like a couple not right before this a couple maybe a week ago or so um but I used both of these washies already um so this one I believe is the Merlot yeah it's a Merlot and a champagne gold um so it's really really pretty red it's like perfect to match the Gryffindor kit that I used um and I really 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 like it so again I have the 15 millimeter and the 10 millimeter and then um this one is the mustard um I believe it's mustard let me see Where's the name at? Yeah, mustard and rose gold. So if you can see that, it's a really pretty yellow color that has some rose gold on it um, in both of those. And then I do have the pumpkin, um, which is the, oops, um, like deeper kind of orange one. I haven't opened this one, obviously, but really, really, really 
really pretty. So those were her kind of like signature fall ones that she did for the pre-sale. And then um, I did also get the five millimeter. I did not buy the olive green one because I didn't think I was going to use it very often. Um, so that is the one washi I did not get. But then I also have all of them in the five millimeter. Um, if you can see that, I have all three of those. And then I do have the green one because they come in a pack. So that is the first part of it. Um, next we have a deep teal. So this one also, um, maybe I didn't buy one. Hold on. Oh, this goes over here. Okay. That's why I was like, I feel like I'm confusing myself with something. Okay. So you have a deep teal plum and slate gray. So this is the, um, plum, which is really, really pretty purple, um, with a rose gold foiling on it. Super, super pretty. And then you have the uh, teal, which I'm obsessed with. I love this color. This is one of my favorite, like, kind of fall colors. And that one also has a rose gold foil on it. And then you have the slate gray, which kind of reminds me a little bit of Stormy, which I think is a little different than Snorby. Oh, my God. Stormy. But I do really like it. And it has um, a champagne gold foil on it. And then I do also have the 5 millimeter of all three of those colors right there. So there's that one. Next we have kind of her popular ones. Um, so these are mint, uh, classic pink, and periwinkle. I have the classic pink already, um, which is why I didn't get the uh, 15 millimeter and the 10 millimeter of it. But you have mint, which this one is very, very similar to the Robin's Egg Blue. It's just a little bit more kind of tealish. Um, and then you have the periwinkle, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the mint has a... Um, holographic foil on it and then the periwinkle has a silver foil on it and then I did get the five millimeter as well and the classic pink it looks like has a silver foil on it as well and then finally last but certainly not least we have the uh, neutral set or the nudes set and I actually did not get all of them I didn't get the cocoa one because I honestly didn't think I was going to use it very often so um I just kind of left that one out so you have dusty pink um with a kind of rose gold a uh, foil on there. You have the gray, um, which I think it's gray, right? Soft gray. Yes. Soft gray with a champagne foil. I'm pretty positive this is the color that goes with it. I could be wrong. Um, I honestly, I don't remember honestly, but yeah, you have those. And then you have the nude one with the uh, champagne as well. And then I did get the five millimeter of all of those. So that is actually all of my Simply Gilded washi it's a lot. I kind of like went a little crazy, but it's only because of the pre-sell um, and all of the washies. But yeah, that is everything from Simply Gilded. Moving on to actual sticker things. So I have an order from Fox and Cactus, which I believe I just kind of picked up most of her like Halloween um, items. So you have a little journaling card here that has little like kind of kitty ghosts on it. And then you have a freebie um, that has a couple of other things like a dog, the unicorn, a cat, and then the ghost. Um, and then moving on to the stickers that I got. So first off, I got the Hocus Pocus um, kind of character stickers mainly just because like, I mean, obviously Halloween, you need all the Hocus Pocus stickers. So I got those. Um, I got the superhero ones mainly just because I like marking these for anything that I have to mark with at work that has to do with Marvel or even if I watch like some of these certain movies. So I picked up those. I also picked up her Halloween ones and I actually get all of my character stickers in Daisy which is the lightest color and um, brunette hair. So our lightest skin tone brunette hair. There we go. Um, so her, all of hers are the lighter skin tone, but you have all of the little, um, Halloween characters. You have one with the pumpkin ghosts. Um, I believe that's a mermaid. Yeah. Mermaid and then a vampire. And then she did do a re-release of some of her pastel hair girls. And you guys know me. I love my past hair crazy color girls. Um, so I got the workout ones and I got two, I think of each just because they were a limited edition. And then I got the like kind of lazy day ones, which these are kind of my favorite. I love these. And then I got the social, um, anxiety or just anxiety ones in general. So that is my order from, um, Fox and Cactus. A really, really, um, small order, but still everything's really cute. Next, I have uh, two orders from Crest Press, and can I just say I'm so excited that Crest Press is back. I'm just ugh, beyond excited. So I got two kits. So the first one is the Home for the Holidays kits, um, which I am really excited about. I'm actually like really excited how like neutral this one is. So 
first thing that you get is you get a little freebie. This is a freebie for um, another kit that's going to be coming out. It has a little sneak peek on it. And then you get uh, some date dots. And you have um, some Fashion Girls, which I believe I did get a la carte. And then I did get the Glitter Sampler a la carte. Wow, words are hard. Um, that also comes with some flags. And then I believe I got the mini kit. So she did reformat all of her kits. Um, obviously, because she came back, she did a huge reformat. So you have a bunch of like the wordy stickers right here. You have icons, some flags, checklists, and a little bit of deco. I love how that her deco is also really tiny because you can use it very easily. You have your full boxes and I'm just excited for this kit because it's so neutral and I'm just obsessed with it. I really like this double box as well. You have um, headers, little things, and eight half boxes. You have some work labels, which is great that she included um, work labels, some appointment labels, habit tracker, one sidebar sticker, one checklist, a little bit of washi, two labels, or four labels and more washi, two bildus, two checklists, and two quarter boxes. And then you have your washi sheet with the washi date covers, a extra full box says no place like home for the holidays, uh, the weekend banner, and the flags for the Erin Condren. And all of her... Um, like stickers are on like this really pretty premium mat or vinyl mat and it's oh, it's gorgeous I love it so there's the first kit and then the second kit that I got is called um Santa baby did I get the wrong fashion girls for this I wonder if I did um yeah it's called Santa baby but I think I got the fashion girls for a different one because it says kiss my ace hmm interesting okay anyway um so you have the little freebie that comes with it, which is another sneak peek, which looks like it's Disney themed, which I'm really excited about. Um, I have the Fashion Girls, but this one says Kiss My Ace, so I might have gotten it for the wrong one, but you know, that's okay. And then I did get the glitter headers for it as well, and then you have the uh, little freebie for the date dots. And then going into the kit, this is the same um, format. I have the mini kit, so you have your functional page. You have your full boxes, which are so cute. I love this double box right here. It's so cute. It's just, ugh, it's so cheesy and I love it. I love it. Um, you have your half boxes page, your uh, like kind of functional labels page, and your washi sheet. So cute. So that is my order from, um, or my two orders from Caress Press. Like I said, I'm just really happy that Caress Press is back because apart from Scribble Prints Co. and Glam Planner, Caress Press is like my next go-to shop and I'm so excited to have them back. Next we have um, three kits. Yeah, three kits from Glam Planner. Um, these were all pre-sales and I finally got them all in the mail. Um, so first one, that we have, oops, what did I just take out? What, what is this? Oh, it's a little freebie. I lose these freebies all the time, if I'm being honest. I never use them, and I always lose them. Um, so first thing that you have, I honestly don't remember this, what the name of this kit is. I wanna say it's like give thanks or something like that. I could be totally wrong. I don't remember. I'm a terrible human. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, first thing you have though is the double box with this really pretty house. And then you dig at the gem headers. She has been doing this thing where when you order during the pre-sale, you actually get the glitter headers a la carte and for free. Um, or not a la carte, sorry. You get them for free included. So um, you dig at the gem headers. And then you have your full boxes, which are absolutely gorgeous. I just, I love this double box right here. Um, and it's just, oh, it's beautiful. I love, I love these full boxes. And then you have your checklist. You have, um, two, are these two more full boxes? Oh, they are. There are two more full boxes, some checklists, um, date covers, a film edit upload, a flight tracker, and then four like kind of squared off boxes. You have eight half boxes, three appointment labels, a payday, a bill, and two bill dues, and a checklist. You have a bunch of icons and a bunch of little things and um, hydrate trackers. She did just recently change her format, so this is all completely new to me. Um, you have a weekend banner, some like wordy uh, deco stickers, normal deco, another weekend banner. Actually, you get three weekend banners. What? You get a lot of weekend banners. A movie marquee, a little um, kind of cat litter, um, grocery shopping, Target, a bed, a Starbucks cup, glasses, credit card, a bubble mailer, a planner, a daily tour, a flag, Glam Planner Happy Mail, Glam Planner New Releases, two habit trackers, and two checklists. Wow, there's a lot actually on there. You have a bunch of washi and headers. 
And then you have um, your washi, your bottom washi. I think this is like extra washi if you wanted to use it. And then some work labels. So you actually get a lot in her kits now, which is really nice. Um, and next I have kind of a Halloween theme kit, kind of not. I was going to use this for Halloween, but I was like, this would actually be really cute if you used it when uh, the second Maleficent was coming out. Because I know that it's going to be coming out uh, eventually. I don't know when exactly it's coming out, but it will be coming out eventually. So, um, again, you have that freebie, which I lose all the time. And then you have a double box, which is kind of the Maleficent, um, kind of girl. Um, you have a freebie. This is a holographic foiled kit. So you do get a freebie that is all hollow foil, which is absolutely gorgeous. You have your gem headers and then you have your full boxes. So the full boxes are also, um, holographic foiled, which are beautiful. Just, ugh, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but all the stars in the background are foiled and they're just gorgeous. Really, really like this kit. Like I said, I was planning on using it for Halloween, but like I could totally use this for like a Maleficent themed week and I'd be okay with it. So there's that. You have your um, checklist, your half boxes, a sheet, your um, extra full box sheet with the date covers, your deco sheet, uh, little things sheets, washi sheet and finally your bottom washi sheet which again has that holographic foil in it gorgeous i'm obsessed all right finally last but not least from glam planner we have a thanksgiving kit so when i actually ordered some of these kits i was planning on still doing um my rewind spreads and the rewind spreads are not a thing anymore so um unfortunately those aren't going to be happening like some of these kits I might not end up using but we will see um but yeah you have that other freebie again and then you have your uh double box which uh, which says gather here and so this this kit and a um scribble prince co kit are going to be my kind of tied ones on whether I'm going to like depending on which one I'm going to use for my main planner. But those are my two options that I have is this one and the and a Scrub Prince Co. one that you're going to see. Um, but yeah, so this is a foiled kit. So you do get the foiled sampler. This is all in silver foil, if you can see that. You have your normal glitter headers, which I actually prefer the normal glitter headers. You have your full boxes, which are so cute. I love this double box. This one will work really well on Black Friday. You have another double box right here. And just it says grateful, thankful, and blessed. I just... Oh, I love this kit. It's so pretty. I love the neutrals in it. You have your checklist. You have your uh, extra full boxes and date covers. And you have your half boxes sheet. So the half boxes sheet is actually foiled instead of the full boxes because it looked too busy. So she did this instead, which I'm actually totally okay with. Like, oh, so pretty. You have your deco sheet, little things sheet, um, pattern washi, and then finally your bottom washi which is not foiled, unfortunately. I kind of wish the bottom washi was foiled, but that is totally okay. So that is everything that I have from Glam Planner. Last but not least, we have the giant stack of things from Scribble Prince Co. I'm just going to start at the top and just kind of go from there. So this, I believe, is the... Okay, so this is the October mystery kit. I actually think I have the September one probably in here somewhere as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I... I think I do. So, um, I actually love Scribble Prince Co.'s, um, mystery kits just because they're always just great and you get so many extras with them and they're always just absolutely beautiful and I'm always obsessed with them. So the first thing that you have are these post-it notes that have a little snowflake, um, at the top of them. Really, really pretty. They're a little bit more square than her normal ones. Usually her normal ones are more rectangular, um, but these are cute and I really like them. You also get a journaling card, which is hollow foiled with a little bow on it which is also really cute and then you have um okay so this is a freebie um you have the bows that come with it that match the kits you have the fashion girls that match the kits and then you have um these which are like kind of deco or even they could be overlays they're really hard to see but they are snowflakes that are holographic foiled which are really really pretty I don't even know honestly if you guys can see these let me see if I can try to like zoom you guys in and have it focus and see if you can see it. Yeah, you guys can't see any of that. Oh wait, oh, you can kind of see it. Can you see them? They're, they're, they're hollow, I promise. They are foils. They're just really, really hard to see. Um, but yeah, so those are the freebies. I think that's, oh wait, no, there's a couple other things. Um, so you also have uh, the glitter sampler that comes with it. And then these are little bow labels, which also are um, foiled, which are beautiful. So 
that is the basic part of it. And then you have the kit. So you have the little uh, freebie with the munchkins. Like I said, I tend to lose the small freebies. So hopefully I don't lose that one. And then you have your full boxes. I am kind of obsessed with this. I love this kit. It is so cute and just so pretty and so winter and I'm just obsessed. Like if I could actually have this in my room, I would be like hands down happy for life. I'd be so happy if that was actually a thing. But it's kind of like a reading themed kit and just kind of a cozy winter kit and I'm just, I'm obsessed. So you have your full boxes, you have your deco, um, a couple of flags, a couple of labels, the scribblers down at the bottom, a um, couple of rescheduled and things, a movie marquee and work labels, and then a weekend banner. You have some icons, uh, two squared off boxes, an extra full box, and some more icons. Uh, two habit trackers, checklists, flags, two habit or two appointment labels. Sorry, uh, two uh, weekly sidebars, two normal checklists, and then uh, some mini icons. Uh, two reading labels, two mini appointment labels, two more appointment labels. <laughs> uh, two bill dues, uh, four quarter boxes, and eight half boxes. You have your fancy labels, pattern washi, and headers. And then you have more fancy labels, solid washi, and little things. Ombre heart checklists. And then you have your washi sheet with the date covers and extra washi down there. This kit's a little hard to see because it is very pastel, but it is still really pretty. So that was the October uh, mystery kit. And then let's see, moving on to, I think just a random order. Um, so first thing, let's, let's open this. Let's see what's in this. Um, so you have a journaling card, which is a kind of Christmas themed journaling card with a gold bow on it. And then you have a little bow sticker right here, which is purple with, um, um, silver foil and then this is my invoice so we're gonna kind of move that out of the way so I have um, a kit that is called question mark why is there just a bunch of question marks on it what is it called <laughs> wait hold on I think that might have been a mistake oh it's called sugar plums I don't know if you guys here let me see if I can show you guys this it legit just has a bunch of question marks on it can you guys see that it literally just has a bunch of question marks on it. It doesn't have the name of it. That's interesting. I've never noticed that before. I don't know if that was just like a kind of a mistake or what, but it's called the Sugar Plum Sugar Plums Kit. I think that's that's what I said, right? Is that what the invoice says? Yeah, that's what the invoice says. Okay, so let me open this up. I did get the mini kit um, because anytime I'm buying in her shop, I'm getting the mini kits. For the mystery kits, I do get her ultimate kits, but for anything that's mini, I just usually, or anything in her shop, I usually just get the mini kit. Um, so you have a new freebie that says SPC new releases and uh, this little half box with a munchkin on it. You have your full, your full boxes, which are so so cute. I just, I love the color of this. I love how neutral it is and just how gorgeous. You have some deco and her um, kit did change. I believe this is a new format. Um, you have some, a movie marquee, the cancel, reschedule, nope, four squared off boxes, work labels, two flags, and a weekend banner. And then you have your functional sheet, which is still the same you have your kind of mini kit sheet that has icons. She did get rid of some of the little things, quarter boxes, fancy labels, and then half boxes. And then you have your washi sheet, which um, is bottom washi, date covers, and then this actually changed. It used to be like cut up strips of washi, now it's just an extra full box. So there's that. And then I did also get to the fashion girls as well and the glitter sampler. I am so ready for all of these um, Christmas kits, if I'm being honest. I have a couple fall things in here as well, but all the Christmas kits. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this next one and see what's in here. So I have that same, um, journaling card. I was like, what is this called? The same kind of journaling card with the gold, uh, bow, and then you have a yellow one this time. And then my invoice... And I believe this order was, did I use, I think I used a uh, promo code or it was over $75. Not 100% sure, but this is a little freebie that I got that has some um, bows on it and then like kind of wordy things like new releases, family time, plan next week and stuff like that. That is in Jessica's handwriting. And then um, I will include that in there. I did get some foiled things and, okay, okay, hold on. Let me make sure that I am putting these with the correct kits. I think I am. Okay. So first thing that I got is this little die cut bow, which I'm actually really excited about. Um, it's white and then just has the black outline, but ugh, 
so cute. I love it. I usually don't get her bows, but I really liked that one just because it was neutral. And then she did release more foiled things. So these are like a different take on her um, foiled star overlays, which these are also really hard to see, but I did get them in all of the colors, the rose gold, silver, and the gold. And then I did also get her mini icons, which I think I have the bigger icons of these in the rose gold, silver, and gold. Really, 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 really pretty. And I love that Scroll Prince Co. is doing foiled things. Um, I did also get this, which is a little Please Give These Sheets a New Home. They're like little misfit sheets. And I got like a bunch of the bow ones, which I'm actually really excited about. Um, because I usually don't bow or bow. I usually don't buy the bow like sheets, but I'm actually really excited that I got these as a misfit. So it's just literally a bunch of the bow sheets that are from a bunch of different kits. And then there's a couple of like sheets of Slither and Deco in here. Um, but yeah, really, 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 really happy that I got this. I'm actually really excited for these. Um because like I mean, I don't use the bows that often, but you can never have too many bows. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, okay, so I did get the November monthly kits. Um, sorry, my phone's going off, which I am excited about. I was hoping that someone was going to do like a November or like a Thanksgiving e themed kit, and she did, so I am all here for it. So you have a little um, sheet here that has the bows on it, and then you have your um, front page, which has the two main full boxes, and then your holidays down at the bottom, and some flags. You have two movie marquees, some date dots, a couple of flags, and then um, the full boxes, or not flags, sorry, fancy labels, the full boxes, and some washi. You have your boxes for the dates that are not in the month, some deco, that's actually a lot of deco, never mind, not just some, that's a lot, and then you have some, um, like, labels. You have your functional sidebar, which I never use the functional sidebar, so I always get the deco sidebar, and that's what this strip is, this is the deco sidebar, and then you have icons and mini event labels, and then finally you have your just kind of normal label sheet with the bill dues and paydays and headers and strips and stuff like that. So that is the November kit. Um, next I have two kits with these glitter headers. Um, so I will go ahead and just start with this one. So this is the Christmas kit, which is like, I think her kind of most traditional kit that she's going to be doing for Christmas, which I'm totally okay with um, and I'm excited about. So you have your freebie, which has munchkins and little scribblers on it, which are really cute. You have your full boxes, which you have the uh, double box right here, which is gorgeous. I love the one with the gingerbread house and just the Christmas tree and just everything. I'm so excited for Christmas. You guys have no idea how excited I am for it. I also really like this girl with the glitter in her hair. She's gorgeous. Um, you have your deco and then kind of your functional sheet. This one is an ultimate kit. So I believe this one's a little bit more differently formatted as the October mystery that I showed you. So you have your movie marquee, your labels, work labels, and like weekend banner and stuff like that. You have a bunch of icons, the extra full box, uh, squared off boxes, and a payday. You have your functional sheet, your half boxes sheet. Maybe it's not that much different. I think it's a little bit. Um, your fancy labels and pattern washi, your little things and solid washi, ombre heart checklists, and your washi sheet and again this isn't cut because it's kind of an extra full box and then you have your um glitter sampler so there's the christmas kit next i have the uh what is this one called oh i can't read it because there's a sticker on it hold on this one is kind of like her hanukkah themed ish kit but i'm probably going to use this one as um ugh as just kind of a winter themed so this one is winter mist and she had fashion boxes that would have worked for um kind of being a hanukkah themed kit but i just kind of left it the way it is because i wanted to use this one as a winter themed kit because i think it would be really cute so you have your freebie you have your full boxes and you can tell it's kind of hanukkah themed because it has like that gold and blue kind of theme behind it but there isn't anything too major that kind of marks it strictly as hanukkah so really cute you have your decos so these are the girl or this girl is the fashion girl um that you could have bought a la carte and that would have made it very hanukkah-y you have is hanukkah-y a word i don't think it is uh but you have your icons sheets your functional sheet your half boxes sheet um your pattern washi solid washi ombre heart checklist and your bottom washi and then obviously you have the glitter sampler so there's that kit Next, I have the Home Alone kit, 
which let's see if the rest of the home alone stuff is in this bar or this little um sleeve so you have the journaling card here that has another gold uh, bow on it and then i'm gonna move the invoice out of the way oh okay i forgot i ordered this okay so first thing you have is a little sticker bow that is black with the silver actually this one's probably my favorite one that i've gotten so she did a um, TN kit for, um, I think it was a Harry Potter themed TN kit, and she did a couple of journaling cards on the side, and I was like, I need this. So this is actually my favorite quote from Harry Potter. Um, it says, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. I actually have this like kind of this quote in a frame on my wall and I just I love this quote and so when she did a journaling card for it that is foiled I was like I need it in my life I'm getting it so I got it it's gorgeous it's silver foil and I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing with it but I'm obsessed and then I did also get the um her what's it called like kind of um dates for the beginning of the month for next year because this is how I usually plan out my um, spreads. So essentially what you do is you put the sticker onto like a clear like plastic thing in your binder and then that's how you organize your kits and stuff like that. So there is that. Um, I did also get a bunch of foil items. So okay so this one is a 75 plus freebie. It has the bow and then a bunch of um, little like kind of wordy uh, stickers down there. And then I got like I said a bunch of foil things. So so, um, first things that I got are these kind of basic foil overlays. There's a gold, silver, and rose gold, which is just a little line or like a squared off box for all of them. Um, so those are the full box overlays. And then I did get these as well. These are bucket lists. Um, actually, no, these are the holidays. These aren't bucket lists. Sorry. These are the holidays for, um, all the holidays throughout the year. And these are all in Jessica's handwriting. So I actually have the rose colored days version of these, but, um, you can never have too many. And I did get them in the gold in the silver and in the rose gold which is really 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 pretty and like I said they're all in Jessica's handwriting so there's that now moving on to the home alone kit so I believe I got the mini kit yeah I got the mini kit and then I did get a couple of add-ons as well because you can never have too many add-ons so you have your freebie with the scribblers and the munchkins and then you have ooh, what is this oh Oh, okay. I think I actually got these just kind of a la carte. I don't believe I have the kit that matches this. Do I? No, I don't think I do. Um, but they're just gold um, glitter headers for one of her kits that she had that I didn't pick up, but I wanted the gold glitter headers because you can never have too many gold glitter headers. Okay, now going on to the actual kit for Home Alone. So you have your full boxes which again, you got the double box, which is the house of the like family in the movie. Um, this one says, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Um, and yeah, really, really pretty. You have your deco sheet. Um, you have your functional sheet, your half boxes sheet, and then you have your washi sheet, which is gorgeous. And then finally, um, you have your kind of extra added on full boxes, which make this very home alone-y, if that makes any sense. And then you have your glitter sampler. Okay, we're almost there. <laughs> um, let's see. Next I have the, is this the September monthly kit? Not monthly. It's September mystery kit? I think it is. Um, it is. Yeah, so this is the September monthly kit. Um, so, or mystery kit. Wow, I don't know why I keep, like, I feel like I'm, like, stumbling over my words. And I'm not trying to. I think it's just a lot of talking. <laughs> a lot of talking that I haven't done in a very long time. Okay, so first thing that you have is um, the post-it notes. So these ones are vertical and like I said, these are a little bit bigger um, than the other ones. These are her normal size post-it notes. So you have a little checklist post-it notes and then you do get the journaling card with the bow and this one is gold as well. You have the freebies. So you have the little bow freebie. You have um, the fashion girls, which are really, really pretty and I like the diversity behind them. You have your... Um, kind of foiled overlays which these are very like Coco Chanel kind of themed um and yeah really really pretty and then I believe you should have yeah you had your glitter sampler as well so those are the freebies that usually come apart from like what's in the kit so going through the actual kit you have your munchkins you have your full boxes and like I said I do actually really like how she has everything like very diverse and everything like that like with these girls and this one like the hands and stuff so yeah really pretty kit um very muted and pastel I don't know when exactly I'm going to use this, but I do really like it. You have your icons sheet, your um, checklist, functional sheet, your deco sheet, um, half boxes sheet, little things sheet, 
Um, oop. There we go. Oh, no, maybe. There we go. Your header sheet and then finally your washi sheet. So that is the September mystery kit. And okay, I think I have two more orders. Yeah, two more orders. Okay, so let's do this one first. So I wasn't originally planning on getting the Halloween kits and then I ended up actually purchasing it because I wanted the, I wanted it for a rewind spread and then I might not be doing the rewind spread in the end. So we will see if I actually use this kit, but I did get it. I got the glitter. Um, ooh, come on. There we go. I got the glitter headers, which are just all completely black glitter headers. And then I have the same foiling journaling card and the little bow sticker as well that came in the last order. Um, and then in this kit, this is a mini kit. And this is actually the first ever like um, photo kit that I've purchased. I don't, I'm not a big fan of photo kits at all, but to me, this kind of doesn't look very much like a photo kit. So I think that's kind of why I kind of like went towards it, but yeah. So you have your freebie, you have your full boxes, which like I said, they kind of look like they're clip art. They don't actually look like they're completely like real like, uh, photos. So yeah, I actually really like this kit. I think it's really cute. So you have your full boxes. You have your functional page. I really like how she put the um, spider webs in the boxes like this. I think they're really, really, really cute. You have your half boxes sheet. So this is actually an old format. So um, this is how our old mini kits used to look like with the headers, little things, um, quarter boxes, and half boxes. And then you have, what is this? What, what, what is this? What? Is this like a oh oh it's deco got it i was like what is this so if you look at these because there isn't really deco for this kit they're little like mini little mini triangles i was so confused okay i think that's like her kind of thing of deco i think i'm not 100 percent sure um but anyway you have like your kind of deco themed sheet but because it doesn't have much um deco in it you have like flags and like uh starbucks cups and uh nail polish and stuff like that and then you have your washi sheet. So there's that. And last but certainly not least, we have my Thanksgiving kit from Scribble Prints Co., um, which I am excited for. So again, you have the bow <laughs> and the same journaling card and then your invoice. So, um, okay, so I did get an extra one of these. I thought so. Um, so this is the glitter sampler for the Give Thanks kit. And I did get an extra one just because of the gold, because um, they are gold glitter headers and they would come in handy for kind of whatever um, spread you want to pull them into. So um, you have that. And then you have uh, the munchkin freebie. You have a double box here, which is of a kitchen, which is really, really pretty. And then you have your full boxes, which are gorgeous. Like I said, I have to debate between this one and the Glam Planner one on which one I'm using in my Erin Condren, but we will see. And then you have your uh, functional sheet. You have your little things, or not little things, yeah, kind of little things, half boxes sheet, your deco sheet, and your washi sheet. So yeah, that is everything that I have actually for this haul. I'm just going to kind of flip all these over. Um, so let's just kind of spread them all out spread all the joy. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm trying to get like all the washi over here and it's just all rolling. So it's not really working, but anyway, that is going to, this, this, this failed. This failed so much. Okay. That is going to be everything for this Etsy haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I am, like I said, trying to get back into filming and everything, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and leave me a comment down below what your favorite thing was. Um, yeah, that is going to be it for this video and I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye guys.